until this World Cup just gone when many of the questions about Scaloni tactically as a manager were answered. Up until that point, it was always, well, he's done very well in creating a team spirit and a harmony in getting the team to pull together, pull behind him. And then at the World Cup, when we saw some tactical tweaks, we saw him having to make changes, make changes that were fundamental to Argentina going on a winning tournament. We started to see a little bit more of Scaloni, the coach, and leading him, of course, to the World Cup, to the situation we are now, where so many people now looking at Lionel Scaloni as arguably one of the next top young coaches. Who knows where the future may hold for him? For now, Argentina will be hoping that it leads to, of course, the next World Cup after just signing a new contract. And he did renew his contract towards the ending of 2026, until the ending of the World Cup, in this case of 2026. And if you start looking at Argentina, they have a very attractive tickly. They can both make it. Now, the question is, does he want to make it? Two rounds in October and two rounds in November. So that's going to be a total of six games. Now again, just like I said it about Panama, I'm going to say it's missing. And I think this should be the team that will most... But Panama will most likely play with Galvan, Peralta, Rios, Farinha, and Anderson. That will be the back five as Jose Guerra will take care of the goal. Misho and Guinea as the two holding midfielders, and up top, Quintero, Cordova, and Stevens. The starting 11, Jorge Deli Valdez. For these players. We've had some big nights here at the Monumental. But of course. Ladies and gentlemen, the world champs, for people to enjoy, to relive. As we truly just. Watch and enjoy the A moment. It's in fun. The World Cup just gone. And the crowd giving us muchachos at top volume. We can now take a look at the formation for tonight. Argentina lining up, as Klaus said already, the exact same 11 that started the World Cup final back in December 18. Midfield three of De Paul, Enzo Fernandez, and Alexis McAllister. And in a front three of Lionel Messi, Julian Alvarez. Angel Di Maria. And the families, children, everyone with the squad on the pitch ready for photo pre day. Klaus, the national anthem wasn't really enough of an indication. We're in for something very special here tonight. Every day, and it took this country many, many years. More than anyone deserves this moment. Single man. We just saw the line up there. And then they mess up. Of course, captaining the team once again. Yeah, definitely, again, we, we talked about good players from Panama, or the players that we are know we're most in common with 
and this is pretty much a beat team. Again, we said again, Dynamite. So, something important for them as well, Pete. Yeah, they win and they go to the semi-finals, as you said, which actually, as well, wins Cordoba and Quintero. As you can see, number 19, he's the young striker. The rough is in the attack because the two windows keep on Quintero. And the three of Stevens, he didn't care of his wings. Sitting back in their own half, and even sitting back with that many numbers, Nico Di Maria almost threads it through there for the ball. They're coming into the area to throw this one, it is rejected, and this time by Giovanni Rios. They're covered. Argentina, here's Messi. And he throws a right, gets away from him. Marco tries to pass to his Macarista. Di Maria inside of the area! Messi! Someone in the way back towards Di Maria. <laughs> That's going to be the vibe for tonight. But we must score good goals and collect the players and the buildings. And so far, Argentina's been doing that. Here's Messi. That's not a foul. Ooh, I didn't even look at a foul first. And the Paul, of course, coming to the rescue. As he should. And we're going to have the first yellow card of the game. It will be for Kevin Galvan and a free kick. A very nice one here for Argentina. Oh, Messi left there with a bloody knee with our first yellow card. I think it was shown to Kevin Galvan. Just to remind us that this isn't just a, a party here. It is still a competitive game of football being played. And as you say there, we do got a ball quickly on the scene. You know, Messi's loyal watchdog over the last couple of years for the national team. Now, I'll take that back. Look at number 11. Look at number 11. His tackle is super clean. And then Galvan, look, look at number 11's tackle, beautifully. And then Galvan comes out of nowhere. The panic, the panic, the really messy can induce in the defense. You see him when you saw the lineups on that right hand side, but clearly tucking in field, getting the ball into his feet. And there's that just fear in defenders once he gets into it and turns. And he can hurt you. And that's when you see those flying challenges, just anything to stop it. Chance for Messi looking for his goal number 99. Leo Messi! And the ball strikes on the pole. Incredible. What a shot from number 10. And the ball didn't even have too much power, but the accuracy was just on point. Look at this one, Pete. Almost. Number 99, but not yet. Beautiful strike. Over the wall. Bending away from the goalkeeper. He's just watching. I'm going to play this one short. There's Messi. Is it right at the edge of the area with their control? Oh. Beautiful through by the chance for Messi. Messi! A great block along the way. Great defensive action as he tries to put it back into action. Nice ball, Argentina. There's Messi. Sheer number of red shirts that they were against the penalty area would make it so difficult for Argentina. Messi, Messi! Makes it very difficult. Very tough to get through. Going by those two holding midfield players. A chance for Argentina on the side of the area. Chelsea who tried from long range in a great response. It's a wonderful strike from Enzo Fernandez back at the stadium. Heavily weighed despite that domination. Right the ball. Right That'll be where Lino Scaloni will want to see improvements in the second half. Does that mean he goes to the bench and he tinker with the existing 11? I think he probably will try and change things up. And perhaps to bring in Lautaro Martinez as an extra striker and add another body into that penalty box. Lautaro Martinez, institutions are taking substitutions as well that bring Tiago Almada into the fold, another player to get higher up the pitch. Going off that left hand side, Di Maria off the right. Oh, Messi almost trying the Olympic corner kick. And it was certainly drifting in, wasn't it, Guerra? Had to be alert to it, and just about gets his feet right, back pedals there. 
across the outside of the area. Hernandez. Here's the point. Messi. Good ball here towards Messi inside of the area. Oh, he says play on. No foul. Then he had get a foul. At least to me, it didn't. And there's no one arguing about it anyway. He and Thiago Almada. And then these two have been on the same pitch for Argentina. And Almada made his debut not that long before the World Cup. It was Messi, really, who was one of the loudest voices in being how impressed he was with Almada. I feel as though it went a long way towards pushing. A chance for Messi. Now, this one so far has been the farthest one he's had. And we know he doesn't like it easy. A chance for Lionel. Messi! Incredible with the rebound. The ball's still alive! Almada! Goal! For Argentina. It's the Atlanta United made Thiago Almada coming through after a beautiful execution from Lionel Messi. Once again, hitting the crossbar. Landed right towards number 16, who sent it towards the back of the net. Less than 15 to play. Argentina takes the lead here in the Monumental. One goal to note. Well, he's had a good few looks at this, hasn't he, Messi? This one, again, within a whisker, a great strike. But it will be a night that Thiago Almada will remember forever. A goalkeeper again, just having to watch. It's Paredes who gets there first. He can't get the shot off. And Almada left with the simple task of stroking that ball into the unguarded net. His first goal for Argentina, following on from a sensational start at club level for Atlanta United. What a moment for Thiago Almada. Now the point. Lionel Messi looking to cut inside of the middle. Look at this beautiful through goal. Looking for Lautaro Martinez quick. Messi right outside of the area. The chance for number 10 to get through. Inside of the area, Messi! And he gets taken away right away. The chance of a shot, and now the deflection. Oh, now. Wow. Still looking for his goal number 99. The chance for Messi. And the very Carter wall once again. Here's Lionel. Goal! Oh, oh. For Argentina, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one, the only, the king, Lionel Messi in his goal number 99 for La Luis Celeste. As the Monumental surrenders itself towards the one and only Messi from the free kick spot. Makes it two goals to now. You simply cannot keep giving free kicks to Lionel Messi. It's goal number 99 for Argentina, Klaus. It's goal number 800 for Lionel Messi's remarkable career for club and country. Just an honour to sit here and watch this man play football. We may not have him around for too much longer, so we have to savour every single moment, every single goal. And this is absolutely trademark stuff. Goalkeeper from Panama with a very good performance. As of course, everyone crowds of Messi trying to get his jersey, trying to get a piece. Not done here. Yeah, not done by a long shot. I don't think Buenos will be done. And a long shot as well as this one goes into the night. Let's hope he wants to get that right. Really big day should be the finale to this festival atmosphere at the moment. There's another picture. Can I get a picture, please? There it is. Turn around. The pictures are still going. I was trying to get a picture, but couldn't. <laughs> no way, for Messi. Still getting tracked by. People wanting photos. We saw the footage in Buenos Aires a couple of nights ago. Messi out time to himself. Absolutely not everywhere he goes, including on the pitch. Buenos Aires. No 
more than a million people waiting to get tickets as soon as the cell was released. We did it through the website. And there was more than a million people on hold. So you can imagine the demand for this game as well. Everybody wanted to see this. Next week it will be in San Diego del Estero, so obviously to the north of the country. We spoke about that, a very renovated stadium, or brand new stadium, I should say. That, if I'm not mistaken, it was originally built for the Copa America. It was supposed to be played in Argentina in 2020. Obviously, it was because of the pandemic, but and that's where Argentina will be playing this upcoming week against Curaçao. And of course, during the World Cup qualifiers, they have switched around. Sometimes they play in Oriental, as Peter says, sometimes in Mendoza, and some of the players in Cordoba. So, I've been able to out the stadium to its full capacity weekend by weekend, even after, even before this renovated back in the 2021 campaign, even in 2022 as well, they managed to fill the stadium up every time they played. So alongside the home obviously a very, very attractive venue. As I said, when you oversee a World Cup triumph for Copa America, and you're doing something right. And you certainly become a very popular figure among the players as well. career of Lionel Messi and everyone in attendance bowing in worship of Argentina's number 10 800 goals in his career tonight and back free kick late on and finally Lionel Messi being able to call himself a world champion as well Getting his shake, getting his handshake too much, more. but we, you can sense all the love that he's getting. I mean, he's, if there's one thing he's gonna have a tough time tonight, it's taking all those awards home. Someone's gonna have to help him out. So it is, it is a, a reward at the, the, at the end of the journey, at the end of the tunnel for number 10. Lionel and Lionel, the two Lionel. I think I didn't have to do it. Here it is. A big applause. This recognition from the part of the tournament and competition. There's much more still. It's a night of success. Se sufrió yeah. mucho para lograr la gloria yeah. después de 36 yeah. años. Big awards. Y aquí estamos agasajando a los responsables. Best coach in the world, best player in the world. Lina Scaloni and Lina Messi.
Probably for chair. And the goalkeeper. And then some words from Lionel Messi. no solo después de ser campeón del mundo, sino desde antes, cuando empezó a amarrar la Copa América. Lo venimos diciendo durante muchísimo tiempo que íbamos a hacer todo lo posible por esto. Este... Siempre... En lo personal, no, no, siempre, siempre soñé con, 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 con este, este momento, momento, poder festejar poder con ustedes, con ustedes poder, poder venir a, a, a mi país, a Argentina, Argentina levantar, levantar una Copa, una Copa América, América, la finalísima, la finalísima como, como hicimos, hicimos, y lo más grande que es la Copa del Mundo. Yo sé que hoy es un día nuestro, que es el día donde estamos festejando los campeones, pero no quiero olvidarme de todos esos compañeros que tuve anteriormente, que también hicimos todo lo posible por intentar conseguir esta. Y lamentablemente no se nos dio, estuvimos, estuvimos muy cerquita de, de la DOT, de la Copa América, de Mundial, eh, del Mundial, pero ellos también se merecen el, el respeto y el conocimiento del pueblo argentino porque... También dejaron todo por esta camiseta. Y bueno, para terminar, decirle que sigamos haciendo lo que estamos haciendo, ¿no? Disfrutemos este momento porque tuvimos mucho tiempo para volver a ganarla y no sabemos cuánto va a pasar para, para que vuelva a suceder otra vez. Pero bueno, para terminar, decirle que sigamos haciendo lo que estamos haciendo, ¿no? Para que vuelva a suceder otra vez. Ojalá no pase tantos años, pero creo que hoy hemos tenido que conseguir la Copa del Mundo. Dependen de muchísimas cosas, no solo de un gran grupo de un gran equipo, pero a veces, por pequeños detalles, no se puede conseguir. Y ahora, disfrutemos de la tercera estrella. Muchas gracias a todos. Y gracias a todos. Echoing what Messi had said, how difficult it is to win a World Cup. And you have to enjoy it. And before that, really putting. Que sufrieron también, más que nadie, junto a cada uno de los memes, la Copa del Mundo, esa que se hizo esperar 36 años, pero que volvió a nuestro país. Y ahora sí, con ya el equipo completo, los jugadores, familia. Claudio Tapia y Alejandro Domínguez le entregan la copa nuevamente a la Copa Families in tow, the trophy again held aloft. And this time, not just by Lionel Messi, but the entire squad. Much for 
Argentina against Panama. Brighton, who is there, Maxi Badone, who is also in the squad and we didn't see today. So there's a really interesting group of young players ready, you feel, in the next year or two to start making their way into the group as well. So plenty of reason. Side to the soundtrack to this epic lap 